Hi there. I have just finished editing my blog, a, a proper written one. Uh, I'm going to get it uploaded and uh, stick it on uh, on the website on the newly created blog section. There's a few. There's a few sort of tests of one there from uh, from previous months where we've had a go at uh, getting all the technical bits set up. But this is the first proper one, and uh, I started writing them because I, I think it's nice to have something to to read sometimes. You know, uh, it's great doing videos. Um, yeah, having walkthroughs of houses, you know, being able to shoot something in the car is brilliant. But the, you know, nothing kind of beats, um, yeah, something to read sometimes. So you know, get it on the iPad, print, print it out, whatever. Read it on the email. Uh, sometimes it's not. Yeah, you don't want to be watching TV all the time. Maybe reading something as well. So bedtime reading. Um, subject of this one is um, uh, what do letting agents do? Uh, I nearly forgot the title of the blog <laughs> there. Um, to find it, to get to this, uh, go to the link of the um, uh, on, in the video, click through and you can pull it. But I just want to talk a little bit about you know, what, what my thoughts behind the blog were. You can read it yourself, but there's a you know, bit, bit more information around it as well. The reason I wrote this um, is I, I think that plenty of landlords, I, I, I would I used to have included myself in this, don't know what exactly what a letting agent does. They've got a rough idea, um, but this is an in-depth, you know, line by line, you know, bullet pointed list of what a good letting agency should do. Um, as a, you know, I speak to lots of people who watch the YouTube channel, um, call up, come in, come on to discovery calls, all those kind of things. Uh, Self-managing landlords who don't really know what a letting agency does and wouldn't even consider using one because they haven't quite thought it through. Uh, and also landlords who use, and I'd put myself in this category, uh, landlords who use letting agencies and I used to not quite fully understand what was their responsibility, what was mine. Um, you know, actually some of the things that were their responsibilities they weren't doing. You can also get to a situation where you feel like you're managing letting agencies. Um, you know, if you're using more than one or even if you're using one, you're, you're managing them. How much legwork are you doing? What should you be able to just to leave to them? Um, honestly, service varies. One of the biggest um, complaints of landlords is I can't find a good letting agent, and oh, if I have found one, they're like gold dust. I'm going to hang. I'm going to hang on to them. So um, yeah, I can't find a good letting agent is a very common landlord gripe. Um, I was the same. This business that we run for the landlords.com, we're a letting agency. Um, I, I can't say it was exactly by accident. You know, what, what we do here is very, very much on purpose. We want to get the best out of um, running a property portfolio, my property portfolio in the first instance. And then you know, we got into the business of finding, fixing and renting. Um, so you know, we had to put the, the rent bit in there and we had to do it really well. Honestly, would I like to outsource that bit? You know, do I really want to get into the nitty gritty of it um, as a landlord? Um, yeah, prob prob probably not. Um, however, I felt like we had to set up the business to look after those things really, really well. Um, I've got to say, I do enjoy it now. We relish the challenge and we think we've, we've, we've broken through, and that's the way, the way to put it. We've broken through to the point where things are working really well. It was tough to build the business and get it, get it to the point where it is. Where I felt as a landlord, myself personally, nothing to do with the business owner, I felt happy leaving the properties delegated with the team. And I think that that is the, that was the turning point for me. And it, it was like five, six, seven years ago, where really, you know, I didn't, I didn't have to check in. They were doing a far better job than than I was doing. That's what happened at that, that, that point. Up until then, you know, we were doing a good job, but I was pushing stuff all the time. You know, this is what the landlord wants. This is what I want. Being, the business was being built around me. So. Um, I started writing, I started writing the word, and I'm just trying to sort of crystallise in your mind, you know, what a good letting agency does. And I started writing that um, a letting agency creates a buffer, you know, between the landlord and um, and, uh, and, the, and the tenant, I guess. And um, you know, it, it, sometimes when you're writing stuff, you write something that sounds good and they think, actually, it's not a buffer. A buffer's no good. A buffer means that actually you're still going to feel the shocks. Um, in actual fact, you might feel all of it, you just might feel it late. There might be this thing in the middle of it that's getting in the way sometimes. I think the sign of a good letting agent, and this I was trying to sort of work out what it was that For the Landlords does for me, what it could do for you, you know, go to that description. You, not only can you go uh, video description, not only can you see, um, you know, click through to the blog and read it, 
get all these details and, and sort of go through the bullet points that I put down there, you can also book onto a discovery call and get this for yourself. If you're a landlord and you want a good letting agent, you can have mine, you can use mine. So um, no, it, not just a buffer, a good letting agency should have a plan. You know, if something goes wrong, it's not just sort of, um, yeah, it's gone wrong, what do you want to do about it? Which is something I got a lot or um, you know, different things every time, you know leaky tap and you get four different ways to fix it or four different responses or it's got to be got to have a plan got to have a process and that's what the for the landlords brings to my property portfolio and to our, our landlords a good letting agency gives you solutions to problems uh, all packaged up nice and neatly in front of you so you can just say yep that you've thought about everything that sounds right whatever it is you know, well packaged, well thought up, communicated brilliantly. That's one of our values, communicate brilliantly. Um, how did we do it? Do you know what the simple thing is? We, we focused on landlord happiness. To start off with, my happiness gave the guys quite a bumpy ride in the first years. Um, yeah, this, from a landlord's point of view, this isn't good enough. This is what I want. This is what I want. And getting a team of um, people in an office, some of who are landlords, but most of who aren't, to understand from a land landlord's point of view, takes a lot of getting through and um, you know, no matter how good they are at their job you know it, it might be um, absolutely fine that that you know, board is broken down and there's a 1500 pound quote coming through and uh, I've fixed it all but you know a three line email probably needs a bit more than that you know I've done this I've done that I've checked this I've checked this but yes 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 we've got, a, got the best price putting all those things around it that a landlord needs to feel confident that you've checked and thought about everything so it took a lot of time to get that, is it, that, that into the business it is in the DNA of ForTheLandlords.com now. So, um, the final point I put in, it's, it's, it's in the blog there, is most letting agencies can't help you scale. Most letting agencies manage properties for landlords with one or two properties. And they don't really help you get past that, and they struggle getting past that as well. You know, dealing with a landlord with 10 properties is quite different to dealing with a landlord with one, simply because it's going to take up more time. You've got to put more time aside. It scales up. You, know, you can't just get the problem in and bounce it back to the landlord. They won't take it because all of a sudden, they've got 10 little water leaks to fix or 10 leaky taps, for example. I uh, hope you don't get 10 leaky taps all at once. But you, you see what I'm saying? 10 leaky taps is a big deal. And all of a sudden, that landlord starts to notice, you're just bouncing everything back to me, for example. Also, the helping scale, the handhold product that we, that we offer, find, fix and rent. If, you, if you're looking to grow a property portfolio, you probably, even if you've got the skills, and lots of landlords already have, you might not have, but you might have, um, have you got the time, the skill, the inclination? Can you get to the place where the properties are? We're a UK wide letting agency buying properties all over the UK and managing them from a central point. You know, you can call up one person and we can get somebody to with one, any one of your front doors within 20 minutes, even if they're 300, 400 miles apart. That's really special. So helping you scale for the landlords.com can do that. Um, anyway, have a read. It's on. It's online now. I'm going to stick it up there now. And I'm lying. I'm not really. I'm going to email it over, and somebody else is going to stick it up for me. But um, yeah, it's all there. Blog. Took a bit, a bit of time writing it and ed editing it through. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. If you've enjoyed, if you've enjoyed the video, uh, give us a, a like and a thumbs up, uh, and also subscribe, and you'll get you'll get more similar videos coming through. There's all sorts that we're recording at the moment. Uh, we've got project reviews. We've got um, you know, a couple of different blogs, one, one, one a month. Hopefully we're, we're going to try and name for um, walkthroughs in, in inside uh, properties that we've done. Um, got interviews with people. Uh, all sorts of things, uh, news, market updates, those kind of things. So hopefully enjoy it and check out the blog. Go to the description, click on the link. And if you want to come and see us, there'll be a link in there for a discovery get day two. Bye for now.